What's up ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for joining me for this video. Um, it's morning, it's early, I've got my coffee in my squirrel mug. Can I just say that I think the Gloria Jean's hazelnut is taking over pumpkin spice for me. I'm loving this kind of coffee. It's so cool. Perfect temperature too. Um, so I just go through my face and chit chat a little bit along the way. The look today I'm going for is kind of a deep and sultry fall look. I actually am getting ready for uh, Beauty Broadcast Live this morning and you know, whatever else I do throughout the day. So um, got my CoverGirl foundation. Um, I already put on my primer and my moisturizers just to, you know, speed up the process a little bit. How's everybody doing? What's been going on in your life? I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these. Got Morning Express with Robin Mead on at the moment. I'll let you know if any important headlines come up. <laughs> so I still have my little Halloween lights up there. I'm calling them Thanksgiving lights now because, you know, pumpkins are good all throughout the fall, right? That's what I say. But I am really excited for Thanksgiving this year because I get to celebrate it. Um, normally I was working usually on Thanksgiving or, you know, working the day after so I couldn't really travel. So I'm pumped to be able to enjoy a normal Thanksgiving this year with my family. Going for a very flawless um, under eye here. So I'm using a little of the MAC Pro Longwear. Um, and I'll continue on with that here on this area. And since this is so much lighter than my skin, I use it kind of whatever's extra out of that little pump. You know how it always like pumps out a little too much, or at least I feel like it does? I just put it other places that I want to brighten up. canal last week. Whew. Um, no, it really was not bad. And I think everybody thinks root canals are bad. But honestly, the procedure, I didn't feel a thing. I mean, I had like probably four shots down in this area. It was my very back back to It started to subside within the last couple days, but really sore just under my jaw. And then my tooth is still just a little sensitive when I bite down on it back there. And, I mean, I've Googled and stuff and looked up that that's pretty normal. Since a lot of stuff is done, you know, for a root canal. They're getting down in there, right? But, anyways, it's getting better. Something I got during that Sephora sale was something that a lot of people asked me to review ever since I reviewed the Tarte Blush and Bronzer Palette. And it's this one from NARS, the Guy Bourdain Palette. And that's what it looks like, y'all. I don't have a ton of NARS, and I have just a little baby Laguna bronzer. Um, so I'm gonna just jump right into this. I'm gonna use the bronzer. I used a different bronzer um, for kind of large surface area there around my neck, but I'll use this one kind of as a contour. I'm not sure what the exact shade names are here, so I'll have to look into that. But I think I'm going to go down to this shade here as a blush. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like. And then I almost have to use this highlight that's in here, right? This looks pretty. Here's, let's swatch it, see what it is. Yeah, that's pretty shimmery. Pretty light. So we're going to use a real light touch with this. I decided that I have been using so many palettes lately, testing out so many palettes, that for this video I'm going back old school, baby. Old school to like some of the first kinds of eyeshadows I ever used. This is not the original palette I ever had, but uh, 
Shimmering Sands, anyone? Anybody have this in their collection? So, yeah, that's what... Baker! I had the door shut. I thought she busted through. What up, girlfriend? This light shimmery shade is awesome. This is great to have for your inner corner. It's a little bit pinky toned. How about we don't lick that? Thank you. Then I'm gonna go for that middle shade. Sorry about that nail. <laughs> I did black on the waterline. I did um, some brown matte eyeshadow under the eye and on my upper lash line is um, kind of a deep plum liner. And I think I wanna make the lower part just even more kind of smoky. So I'm gonna go to this shade because I used brown smolder under there first. So this is gonna be a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna go sort of right below. Oh, I like that. I made sure to turn my phone off for this video. I sincerely apologize to those of you who have said, oh, it's going off and making an email beep during videos, I'm, and I'm sorry. Like, I think I've gotten to the point where I, like, hardly notice, honestly. And, um, like, I'm just very in the zone doing my video, and it does not even register, so... Um, I'm sorry if that's been a distraction. Although we can file that away under first world problems. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't think I've talked to you guys um, in a video like this since my area has gotten a new Ulta. Or, wait, let me rephrase that. Gotten an Ulta? It's not like they had an old one. <laughs> um, it's amazing. It's, I mean, I used to go to an Ulta occasionally, but the nearest one was like an hour and a half away, so it wasn't exactly convenient. And it's right connected to the mall, so... It's just so handy. I love it. But I got this lip kit from MAC. It's like a really dark, vampy lipstick, a dark liner, and then a cream sheen glass lip gloss. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the gloss or not, but um, I'm going to start out with this lip liner and it is in Vino. And I think I am going to take just a little bit of this gloss. I'm just going to get a little bit here on my finger and dab that. Hmm, that's pretty. I put that one Velcro roller in the front because I'm very paranoid about my front section getting a dent in it from the clips. So when I do a Velcro roller, I can just do um, this little kind of clip on the underside and then I don't wind up with any sort of dent. Hair extensions. Are these hair extensions? Yeah. No. <laughs> you only see me every day. Yeah, folks, uh, we live together. You can pull on it, it's real. <laughs> 
Okay, so I finished off the look, um, just styled my hair, went back to the center part. You know, I just can't make up my mind. Um, put in some gold earrings. These are from Forever 21. They're just like little bitty spikes. Um, I love the combo of leopard and the dark lip. Something about that just speaks to me. So um, I got this scarf actually when I was in Germany. Is that toothpaste? Oh. Um, yeah, sorry about that. A little gold bracelet. This is also from Forever 21. Um, the nails, most of them are the Revlon Perfumery in Bordeaux, except for the Ring Finger, which is Autumn Spice. I was just testing that out. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more Get Ready With Me stuff, and have an awesome day. Bye, guys.